Welcome back to Weapons Only, the Genshin account where we make the worst decisions possible. Um, which is to say, we're only wishing on the weapon banner. And look, there's a new weapon banner today. What a world. I think I mentioned it a little bit in the previous episode, but I have decided we are going to wish in this banner. Now, because we wished on the previous weapon banner, um, our, our Prima Gem supplies are not high. But we're going to do it anyways and see what happens. Now, and the, the, there's a multiple reasons for this. One of the big reasons is, and this is honestly the most important reason, is that next month in the Paimon's Bargain Shop, the characters in this rotation, I don't know what both of them are, but I know one of them, and it's Fischl. And Fischl is important, and yes, I know, I'm excited, I'm talking about a character again, but but look, Fischl's very important because we've had this freaking, where is it? Uh, we've had this stupid bow. We've had this stupid bow for like six months. And the best thing I've done with it is put it on a really garbage vaporized build on Amber. <laughs> Fischl is like the main character we could ever get that could actually take good advantage of Aqua Simulacra. So we need to get Fischl, which means we need more Star Glitter. We have 18, we need 34. If we get... A 5-star, that's 10-star glitter, right? A 5-star weapon is 10-star glitter, and then 4-star weapons are 2-star glitter. It should not be that hard. But not easy. Now, because we lost our 50-50, or the 25-75 for Aquila Favonia, we do have a guarantee for... If we get a 5-star, if we get a 5-star, we get either Freedom Sworn or Light of Foliar. Now, either of these weapons would be good. Uh, Freedom Sworn would be fun for, like, a Sunfire Gene. Oh, by the way, I... Real quick... Thank you for the feedback on Gene. I was initially disappointed, but honestly, I I do like Gene. I'm gonna we're gonna have fun with messing around with the Sunfire comp, but our resources are a little bit low right now. I've been farming some ley lines a little bit, so got a little bit of Heroes Wits and from the event and whatever. Uh, and I also want to build up Beto. Um, some people did tell me like Beto is not amazing without our C2, but should still be pretty good in the aggravate comp, like with Fischl, for example. So uh, we're still going to build Beto because I'm interested in her kit. She's got an interesting kit that I've never really messed around with. So I do want to build Beto. And then we'll build Gene. Then you know, there you go. That's the story of that. Uh, b a bit of a downside, though. Uh, Gene for Sunfire, especially, wants to be level 90. And um, Beto for Eggerate also wants to be level 90. So, you know, we. want to trade tactics. I'm always ready. Sure, some other time, Beto. So, so we need, you know, about uh, 600 more. Heroes Wits, which is uh, a lot, so uh, soon, TM. And we might build more characters, too, because someone commented, like, hey, maybe you should just, like, level everyone to 90. And I'm not going to level everyone to 90, because that's a lot of resources. Like, we don't have a small amount of characters. We just don't have the ability to control which characters we get. And in particular, we don't, like, if, if constellations are important to characters, we don't have the ability to, like, control getting constellations for those characters, right? So... Anyways, I'm rambling at this point. We're going to do our 20 summons on this banner. And we're going to hope for an early 5-star. We've done, I've done, I don't know, like 500-some summons on this account between this banner and the weapon banners. Not a single early 5-star. At this point, I kind of want to just retain the status of never getting an early 5-star in this account. Because... As much as I hate it, it'd be funny to be like six months from now and have 500 wishes in and still not have an early five star. But I don't know, maybe. Anyways, blam. We only have about 20 summons. So I expect almost nothing from this. But we actually don't, for once, we don't want characters, by the way. Because if I get characters, that means I'm not getting star glitter. And there are fab weapons, like good old fab codex on the banner, which is nice. Um, I'll be honest, I think Fab Codex is the Fab weapon I have the most of, so I don't think we needed that that badly. But, hey, it's it's Star Glitter. This was what we need. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, Fab Sword would not be bad. Uh, Wavebreaker's Fin exists, and Moon's Moon exists, and Sack Sword, Sack Greatsword exists. Yay. Four stars are kind of whatever on this banner. Um, Fab is good, and that's kind of it. Yep, I, I knew it. I, look, there's no reason to ever expect. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there was... I said I, did, I said I wanted no early 5-star. We got all... Do we have all the animals? Not all the animals. We obviously don't have Kaza. I think that might be the last animal we need. Um, but also, Sayu, get the frick off my weapon banner. I need my... I need my star glitter. No. Okay. Well. This was a bad start. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that was... That was... 
much excitement gone very fast. I guess I'll use the single pulse because uh, I, I don't know why not. Because I think I might get another four star. But also, Sayu, go away. Um, Sayu, we ha we have Sucrose now. We have Jean now. Sayu does. I think like literally nothing. So that that we like would care about. But she is the last animal character we could possibly ever get on this account, so that's cool. We've completed the the, the possible roster for animo characters, in, unless they release a new four star animo. So that's something, um, not useful at all. Thanks, game. I I would have rather had a garbage weapon for my star glitter, so that could be progress towards official. But oh well, is what it is. Let's do a couple single pulls, cause I I don't know. Excitement. Wishing. Gotcha. Why all my recent weapons only videos have been wishing. My bad. Uh this video is probably gonna be more grinding and more oh we did get a four star. Thank you. How about a I don't care. Just it's star glitter. A moon's moon. Wonderful. Sweet, it's star glitter. It doesn't matter. And I don't know. I, I, anyways. It's it's just gonna be grinding and wishing again. Grinding and wishing. That's all I do with this account. We're back to the grind. Um I either need to get a whole lot of four stars now at this point to be able to have enough star glitter in time for getting official in July. I mean, we have all of July if need be, but I don't know what the weapon banners are going to be in July. And this weapon banner is currently a good one where it's fine to get either of the five star weapons. So I'd prefer to get a five star on this weapon banner than a potentially bad weapon banner in the next patch. So, I, I, anyways, I'm going to grind. Um,. I don't know when this video is coming out now, but that's fine. It might if this if it, if this banner has been out for almost two weeks when this video comes out, uh yeah yeah that's what happened. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. No, earlys don't exist in this count. I it's fine. It's fine. We that's how we just roll in this count. Um, I'm gonna need to grind like forty wishes, which is a, a whole lot if I want to try to guarantee getting official. Is what it is. Not a great start. Earlys don't exist. I'll never stop complaining. But at the same time, it's just funny at this point. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I did farm yesterday a very little bit. I just farmed like Beto's and Jean's boss once, so I could you know, level them up as as I felt. And I got a juicy artifact. This right here. Woo! Good old four line double crit. That's low rolls and crit, but that's fine. Uh, but it's four line and double crit with zero dead stats. So that's a that's a juicy juicy Piece for wander or wanders troop for gladiator. So you know what? I guess we'll level that up right now a little bit Why not? I do not have that much fodder But hey, we'll take it to like level eight and then I can maybe use some of my condensed resin. Why not? Why not? It's exciting. We gotta have Some kind of luck based content. I'll take artifact luck over having banner luck That's not okay. Well now all the rolls will be into crit yeah, it's a, it's a low roll, but it's fine. It's a crit roll. We're not going to complain. And... Hey, another crit roll. All right, it's redeemed itself. Let's go. How much fodder do we have left? Basically none. I'm going to go farm a little bit. D okay, two EM pieces. Sure, I mean, a lock of the goblet for sure. All right, back to leveling this piece. See how high we can get it up. All right, level 16. Oh, let's go. There's a max roll too. That's good. Alright, last roll. I don't think this can be a 40 because of how low roll the crit damage rolls were, but that barely matters. Y'all, oh, let's go. Let's go. Another max roll even. Sweet. Alright, so that's just barely not a 40 crit value because of the the low crit damage rolls, but again, we're talking like literally 1% crit damage. It's a very, very, very good artifact. I want to be very clear with that. And so yes, I guess that's where our, where our luck went today. It went f off of the weapon banner into this artifact, and I will I will take that, I suppose. But now I get to grind, so yay! Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> you know, I don't really think we need more gladiator feathers after the, after the one we just got, but. I'll take it. Would have been really nice if those were Wanderer's Troop. Alright, the the Abyss literally ends in four hours, so I should probably go and do some of the Abyss. 
I don't intend to 36 star or anything, that's for sure. I'm just going to go as far as my sanity takes me because, you know, the Abyss is designed to give players a, a stress-free environment, you know, right? So we're just going to probably just going to do it to floor 11 because um, floor 12 really, really sucks in this. And yeah, well, yeah whatever. I don't know what I'm going to include for footage from this. Probably not much. Maybe some stuff from floor 11 if I see some big damage from Rosaria or whatever. But not going to include like the whole Abyss attempt. I'm going to try Rosaria Melt with Sucrose on one side of this Abyss and then good old Hyper Bloom on the other side. Oh. oh, that was satisfied. Don't hit my... Oh, you hit the pillar. You bought hole. No, stop hitting the freaking pillar. Ugh. Bro, the, the pillar is taking damage from the freaking... Oh, my God. The dude jumps down, and then he puts the stupid ice down, and then it periodically does damage. Like, God, frick, frick you, Mahoyo, for putting that dude. Like, this is already annoying enough with the Spectre's 500 different spots on the map. This is a, this is a, you have, why did I just get mail? Uh, I don't, okay, I'm just gonna go leave and see what I got mail for. Uh, but it's just an F you for not using, you know, Sucrose or Kaza in that chamber. And I am using Sucrose in that chamber, but, like, I shouldn't have to. Oh, we just got a bunch of seeds from from uh, Venti. Thank you. I needed those for Jean. <laughs> yeah, Sucrose works very well, to be clear, for this chamber. Um, I do, so I do, can I use my abilities? I, okay, love, love. I, someone's got some lovely lag on you, but you know, Guava Swirl, and then get frozen. Uh, don't get my particles properly. You know, and then I use Shang Ling, and everything died. But it's. Annoying when they do the the one phase, right? Um, and then yeah, the, the whole mess of all all of this in this chamber, honestly. Uh, and of course, I bungled up some things, but oh well. God, I hate this stupid abyss chamber where you have to deal with that butthole for two minutes, and then you just have to watch as this butthole pings the thing down ever so slowly, making it more annoying. It's like, ah, oh, just... Okay, we're fine. We're fine. 85% surely this time it'll, it'll work, especially with Hyper Fridge. Alright, did it. Good lord. That was such a pain in the arse. Bro. Finally. God, all it took was double Dendro. Really, Mahoyo, did you really have to put two Hydra Heralds at once there? On floor 11? I'd rather spend my time doing story quests instead of losing my mind in Abyss. This is predictable. This is what I thought would happen, but like also, screw this Abyss. That's what I can say. Uh, give me my freaking gems. Abandon forever and always. Claim. Claim. There we go. We got our gemses. I'm not even in the, I don't even have enough for a, for a four star. Okay. Uh, hmm. we're at 24 pity. Sweet. That means I only, <laughs> I only need like 35 more. Yay. All right. Well, I'm going to go do the ride and story quest and then probably do perilous trail. And then, uh, that should give me a whole bunch of wishes once I finish with all that. And we'll, we'll, we'll do some sevens. We'll see how many I get. Hey, look, we have an engulfing lightning now, temporarily, for about two minutes. So much dialogue. Oh my god. Does it ever end? No, it doesn't. It never ends. Genshin is an infinite dialogue generating game. Yay, I finished. I finished the quest. Took. Way too many quests, but I can finally do Perilous Trail. Yay, and this one's going to take probably longer than all these story quests I had to do to unlock it combined. Yay. Oh, look, and now we got a Lost Prayer of the Sacred Winds. We're just getting all the free five-star weapons today. What a world. What a momentous occasion for weapons only. 
Oh, man. I'm finally freaking... Well, okay. I still got about 20 lines of dialogue, 20 minutes of dialogue probably to get through, but... Perilous Trail is simultaneously probably the best quest in Genshin, but also it's really long, and having done it now for the third time... Uh, <laughs> oh no, the spoopy ghosts. Your lawn advertisement. Oh, the quest is finally done and they make you go through another hundred lines of dialogue. Just to finish it off, like, oh, but spare me, Mahalia, please. <laughs> Let me go. Let me be done. It's taken like an hour or more. It's, I don't know, it's taken a long time to do this quest. And I had to do four quests to even do this quest. And I had to do this quest to get my freaking wishes from the guidebook. Ugh. Free me? Achievement? Okay, I think I think after we go talk to Shao, we get one last cutscene and we're finally done. Oh, good lord. I'm pretty sure, like, I have 39 resin right now. I'm pretty sure I started Perilous Trail with about 20 resin. That's how freaking long it took. I need the I need the blue Yaksha to be playable. I need her. Oh, I'm done. Oh my god, that took forever. Food delivery. It took so long. I got more dailies to do. Oh my god. Okay. And now, I can finally, I can finally claim these. Not only this, but I can claim Sumeru stuff that I did. This one. I don't know how many total. Three. Okay. Another one. No, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, there's probably at least like two more I can get from Story Quest or so. Alright, what does that put me at? 765. Oh, not quite a temple. That's... Ugh. Okay. Well, the question is, how long would it take me to get two more wishes? The answer to that question is, I, I don't know. But I can tell you I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. But I have played Genshin too long today doing story content and Abyss and whatever. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna come back tomorrow, grind some, grind a little bit so we can do a ten pull. Alrighty, it's a new day. I'm refreshed, mentally no longer exhausted from 500 hours of questing, and there's a new abyss cycle. Wonderful. So we only need, I believe, two more wishes. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit under two more wishes, and we can get a ten pull, which will probably give us nothing. But I'm gonna go to the abyss quick. To save my sanity, I am not going to do floor 11 for now, because floor 11 was too much of a pain in the butt last time. So, I'm probably going to include none of this footage. I'm just going to get the gems and get out. Claim. Claim. Alright, we got enough for a temple. Let's go. Let's... I... I don't... I have no... I don't know. My brain... It doesn't... Oh my god, it early. Holy crap. It finally happened. On one hand, I'm very happy because this means this with this, I think we are guaranteed to get Fischl. Well, it's possible we didn't get an, a four star weapon in here to give us enough star litter. We're guaranteed to get Fischl now. Hopefully it's lo-fi. Freedom Sword. I guess no anticipation, I guess. Thanks, game. Um, Freedom Sword is fine. Uh, I was going to say Freedom Sword would be fine, but it is fine. And a fetch. You know, we, do, we don't complain about Yoli fabs. So, there we go. We got an early. Yay! <laughs> the best thing about that is that I don't have to grind. I, it, it also means I might actually be able to put out this video this week. Um, which was not the plan. And now I need to think of things to do. Uh-oh. Whoops. Uh, okay. Wonderful. So, I still cannot, for the love of anything, I cannot get... <laughs> I cannot get DPS swords. <laughs> <laughs> we've wished on the Mist Splitter banner. We've wished on... Wait, is this the only... I guess we haven't wished on that many sword banners now that I think about it. But either way, um, it would be nice to get a DPS sword, but we just we just can't. Uh, I could continue wishing on this banner, of course. But I, I, at this point, I think it makes more sense to save. And I also want my sanity. Um, I don't like having to grind every single day and play Genshin Impact every single day. I like to just save up and... Not anyway, you get the point. Um, we got an early yay, 
Uh, that was at like 20 something pity. So we have eight pity even. What a world. Um, I can no longer complain about the fact that we don't get earlies in this account. I mean, I can complain about the rate of earlies. One early per 500 wishes is not great. But regardless, it saved me time. It saves us some wishes. And now we have enough for Fischl come July. And Fischl will give us use out of Aqua Simulacra. And then, of course, Freedom Sworn is not a bad weapon at all. Uh, this does mean, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fast track the gene building is, is my plan. Freedom Sworn looks great with gene, matches her color scheme well, uh, of course works really well with Sunfire. So that's, that's the plan. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure we get, uh, we get, get her built. I'm gonna research Sunfire options a little bit more. On the Sunfire combo, just in case anyone isn't aware, is just gene combined with... Thank you. Uh, combined with Bennett. Basically, when you use good old Benny's Burst, having the team, yep, when you use good old Bennett's Burst, I would use it, but I don't want to, I don't want to lose the thing. <laughs> you self-apply Pyro to the active character in his Burst, which Jean can then use her Burst to infuse Pyro in the Burst, and she can have basically rapid hits of Pyro, and if you build a bunch of EM on her, the general idea is that you can, you know, all those all those pyro hits that she gets from constant swirls that she's doing from her self-infused pyro on her burst is vaporizing or triggering overload or what have you, right? It's a it's a it's an interesting option that we can mess around with. It's fun to have Jean, and also Jean, of course, is just fun to like throw hilly trails around with. So I think I'll switch to using Jean for a little bit, basically. But we gotta we gotta kind of level her up a bit. And we we got a weapon for her. Freedom Sworn is also an option, of course, to put on what's her bucket? Kooky. We can swap out that if we need to. And Freedom Sworn is also an option for Melt Kai. Honestly, I'm pretty sure Freedom Sworn is probably better than what's it called? Uh, Harbinger of Dawn. And considering we have, you know, a lot of crit rate on Kaya, especially this is without the, the Harbinger passive, right? Um, so we would lose the crit damage from, from Harbinger of Dawn, but then we gain all of the EM. So all things considered, Freedom Sworn is also not a horrible DPS option uh, for, for Kaya. In, in Melt specifically, definitely not for Freeze. I would prefer a crit weapon because then it's like Freeze and Melt, right? But it's not a lo-fi, it's a Freedom Sword. We deal with the things we get. That's the nature of the weapon matter. We can never get what we want. <laughs> well, not never. We just have to get lucky. Yay. Anyways, it's fine. I the, Look, it just gives us more reason to continue wishing for uh, Miss Splitter when Miss Splitter comes back. Or, I don't know, maybe the Hydro Archon will have a DPS sword or something. I don't know. Who knows? We got options. We got all the swords in the world. Um, I, th I think we've definitely gotten the most swords versus anything else, right? Yeah, we've gotten, <laughs> we've gotten four swords, one bow... Two pole arms and a claymore so far on the account. And hey, we got a full row now as well. That's something. That is indeed something. Before we end off the video, I suppose I'll level up our Freedom Sworn a little bit. Not much reason not to. Most importantly, just need to check what crap it takes because it's, it's going to take a lot of crap. It takes ring and dingies. Ah, uh, that's good, I guess, because we have some for some reason. Probably from events. Blam, ascend. Level to 40. Wonderful. And we still have more. Alright, well, you know, I don't know what the lo-fi materials are, but at the very least, the materials for Freedom Sworn are easy to farm. Well, okay, the Mondstadt domain is one of the pain incarnate domains. This, this, and it's not available today, but I'll farm it this weekend. Yay. I don't know if I want to fully commit to Sunfire right away, but uh, you, you know what? Maybe I just will. We got Freedom Sworn. We got Gene. As far as I'm concerned, maybe it's just fate. I'll fully commit to the, to the Sunfire and uh, level 90 Gene. The reason you level 90 Gene for Sunfire is because since so much of the damage comes from her swirls, um, your base swirl damage is based on your character's level, so it would actually make sense to level 90 Gene in a Sunfire comp. But that also just means we're sacrificing all of our heroes with right? <laughs> so, but I don't know. Gene might be the only 5-star character we ever get in the account. It's worth it, I'd say. And level 50, very nice. And I just need to collect some dandelions to get one more ascension. And you know what? I think I get a wish too, don't I? Yeah, okay. I'll get one more ascension on Gene. Why not? Last wishing content for the, the the video. And I can craft two of these chains. 
get genes uh, or get our get our freedom sworn leveled up just a little bit more. And ascend. Blam. Auto add. Here we go. Level sixty. Wonderful. All right. So yep, I'll farm for these this weekend, and then we just gotta go uh, go get some dandelions. Get Gene ascended. This is very nostalgic to me, by the way, walking around with Gene, because Gene was the first and second five star I ever got. I think I might have mentioned that in the last episode, and I used her a lot when I first started playing Genshin for for quite literally, I think, a month or or so straight. So it's actually strangely nostalgic just to go around with Gene. I did this a lot. If you don't use a sucrose to farm these dandelions, they are just utterly painful. Yoink. And of course, the, I need one more. Fantastic. There's dandelions here somewhere. Uh, there they are. I wonder if it makes sense to use Gene and Sucrose together at all. Because, I mean, it definitely I think, makes a little bit of sense. The main reason would be to battery Gene, right? Like, for example, I could very easily do full EM on Gene with Sucrose batterying Gene. And then the Gene would also battery Sucrose a little bit, with just extra animal particles in general. And then uh, that would leave, I mean, it would do, so it would be Bennett, Sucrose, Gene, and then just some other damage dealer, right? So I think in that case, Rosario would make the most sense for sure. I don't know, that's an interesting option. Should I try that? I don't know. It might make sense to do that with like a Xing Cho where you can get Vaporizes off of Gene's Sunfire combo. I don't know. I'm just th I'm just thinking aloud here. Let me know your thoughts, What or if, if, especially if you're experienced, if you've used Sunfire variations before. Let's ascend her quick. Blam. And grab the wish. And make our dreams come true. Yeah, like I said, dreams came true with this black tassel. Wonderful. Fantastic. It's fine, though. Our dreams did come true today because my dream was to not grind, and I don't have to grind, and I have a freedom sword now, which is cool. And there's a chest here, which is, it's more contribution towards even further dreams. What a world. Blam. Alrighty, well, we got Gene level up a little bit for this video. And we got Freedom Sworn, of course, which was lucky. I'm glad I don't have to dry, 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 grind anymore. And uh, we'll get this leveled up and Gene leveled up. Probably to both of them to level 90 this week, hopefully, uh, over the next week or so. And then we can proper try out some Sunfire comps, and maybe we'll actually... Sunfire is one of the things about Sunfire is it's uniquely quite good in Floor 12 of this current Spiral Abyss cycle. So, maybe I can finally take on Sunfire, or take on this Abyss thanks to Sunfire with Jean and, uh, and Freedom Sworn here. The game decided to give us Sunfire, I guess we're doing Sunfire. That's, that's kind of my thinking. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment, and whatever, give me your thoughts. Am I being stupid and by investing in Gene or something? I hope not. I think people want me to build Gene. And I want to build Gene, and we're getting official soon. Oh, actually, hmm. I just realized we're getting official soon. Maybe I shouldn't spend all my resources on Gene. Nah. I think I'll do it anyways. But it is fine. It just means I might be farming 8,000 ley lines until the end of time for official. It's fine, because official needs to be, or doesn't need to be. Official wants to be level 90 as well for aggravate. And then... Oh my god, why does everyone be level 90 now? What happened? Ew. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. But anyway, we're, 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 it's a momentous time, it's a, it's, it's a momentous occasion on Weapons Only, where we are getting, this is the wrong page, we're, we're finally, we're gonna get Fischl soon, so Aqua's gonna be useful. We got Freedom Sword and Gene, which should be a useful combo. Maybe I'll bring, bring or level up Chongster more and get use out of Skyward Pride. Uh, this, okay, this, the second Aquila, let's be real, is not going to be useful, but hey, it's it's fine. <laughs> and we finally have leveled up some weapons to take proper use of things. We got some fun teams going. Um, are all, working hard. all in all, things are looking up for weapons only. Finally, a little bit. I can no longer complain about earlies, except I'm probably still going to complain about earlies. Thank you for watching. Bye bye Check out the live streams or something if you want more of me rambling and being un... Oh, I almost just fell to my death. Uh, and, and being unproductive, because that's what I... That's... Bye!